Hey, good cold morning here from, uh, well, we call it sunny Florida, and it is sunny today, but it is a little brisk. It's about a uh, good, uh, eh, probably low 50s right now. Um, good, cool, brisk day, unusual for Florida. It's uh, early December, and today we're going to take a trip to Pompano Air Park, Pompano Beach. Uh, should be about an hour and 20 minute flight, not too far down there. Uh, heading down there to make some calls today for business and as uh, we get the plane just about ready to go finishing up pre-flight and as you can see we've got the wing cam up and ready and uh, out of all the internal cams this is kind of my my system here mounting each of these cams uh, in the windshield. What I'm really happy with, um, and I'm, this is a this is purely not a non-paid plug, but uh, uh, my Pilot Pro, the three suction cup uh, connector there, or the three suction cup attachment, that thing is just as good as GoPro, I think. Maybe even better. And it's built a lot better. It's, a, it's all metal. But I uh, got that idea from my friend Lou Dix down the road and uh, who I hope to meet one of these days. We've been uh, texting or uh, messaging back and forth. So eventually uh, maybe I'll get to meet him. So we're going to get the plane going, uh, get the cameras rolling, and uh, we'll see you in the air. Okay. Should be recording on all cameras. And today's flight's going to be to Pompano Air Park. Kilo Papa Mike Papa. Weather's real nice. Go ahead and uh, set up our. Okay, brakes and steering are good. Let's kick this thing a little bit back. It's going too fast. Parking brake, okay. Yeah, I'm looking Engine check, lineup check. Full fuel selector on boost. We got full rich. We got. You mean the right side? We'll bring our flaps up here in a minute. Caps handle pins out. I think we'll be the left side. Avionics. MFD is on the engine page. Uh, we got our heading set. Let's go ahead and talk to go to seven. Let's do west today. A little bit of a different departure today. The autopilot is ready off. Trim set for takeoff. And I'm going to check this door really well before I leave. Probably do that when we get up here to the cold short line. Do a quick door check. And it didn't feel. Oh, that feels good. Okay. That feels like shut now. Okay. We are at hold short. And we're going to flip it to tower. And we are taping and we're taping. Flaps down, brakes check, fuel on good. Autopilot cameras, we are good to go. And Sanford Tower, 383 Julie Tango, holding short, 27 left. Here's 383 Julia Tango, Sanford Tower, flying 260, runway 27 left, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, clear for takeoff, 27 left, fly heading 260, 3 Julia Tango. Let's go ahead and get that Orlando frequency in there. We're back. Uh, looking for close traffic if possible. Okay, heels on the floor. Everything's looking good. Gauges look good. And here we go. 
2326 Victor Stanford Tower, continue on the Jessup arrival, descent approved. The Phoenix Jessup, descent approved, 26 Victor, thanks. Collapse in. We have good airspeed. Lucky 680, Sanford Tower, flying wow. only heading runway 27 right at Romeo, clear for takeoff. He's flying good today. Hardly even felt the flaps go in or go out. Go over to departure, 7382, Delta. Okay, so we're going to be looking for 260 as a heading. Let's go ahead and climb this sucker. Sit 47, number one, runway 27 left, clear to land. So left, uh, clear to land, uh, number one, fit for seven. Okay. Autopilot is set. Okay, where's our climb? Number three, Julie Tango, contact Orlando departure. Over to Orlando, three, Julie Tango, good day. Clear to departure, 383 Chile Tango, 1,300 for 2,000. Excuse me, 1,600. November 383 Chile Tango, departure, I dance, for zone navigation. Maintain VFR outside of the Orlando class, Bravo. Okay, on, uh, on, known, on my own nav, and we will uh, maintain, uh, stay inside of the, uh, the Bravo, 3 Chile Tango. That did not go well. Orlando departure, radar contact. Two miles northwest of the Sanford Airport. Use them on navigation. Maintain the bar out of below 2,500. Enter. Enter. Welcome. Number 3, Jill Tango. I never saw the ident portion, please. Ident. All right, ident. 3, Jill Tango, ident. And number three, Juliet Tango. I, I still do not see the ident portion um, lighting up there, but you are radar contact because I see you in the turn uh, southeast bound. Thank you very much. And there he goes now. Three, Juliet Tango's radar contact, four miles southwest of the Sanford Airport. Three, Juliet Tango. Thank you, November 383, Juliet Tango. Traffic, 10 o'clock, moving to your 12 o'clock, four miles west, southwest bound. is an Airbus descending to 3,000. Okay, three Jill Tango, looking for the traffic. Uh, we have it inside, three Jill Tango. All right, thank you very much. November 738, Juliet Delta, reset your transponder and squawk 5563. 5563, 738, Juliet Tango. 738, Juliet. Seven three eight Julia Delta VFR climbs approved. Contact Daytona approach on one one eight point eight five. VFR climb approved one one eight point eight five. Three eight Juliet Delta. Three eight Juliet Delta. How confusing. Back a little bit. We don't need to burn that much fuel. Still going pretty good. All right, got it back to 85. We're still got 140 knots over the ground, so we're still doing good. Lucky 206 is your radar contact. One two miles north of the Tampa Airport. Join them on row. Contact the tower, 120.3. Adios. Join the Monroe in 20.3. Have a great day, sir. Bucky 206. Thank you, man. Thank you.
November 383, Julia Tango, contact Orlando approach for me, please, on 119.4. See ya. Over to 119.4 for 3 Julia Tango, thank you. Orlando approach, 383, Julia Tango, 1500. Number three, Tango, sorry, Julia Tango, Orlando approach, you cleared into the Bravo, climb and maintain 4,500. Oh, Clark, okay, climb and maintain 4,500 for three, Julia Tango. Boom. Climb, baby, climb. Climb, baby, climb. Six Romeo X ray is out of 1,100 for 1,500. Number six Romeo X ray, Orlando departure. Good morning, your radar contact, climate maintain 4,000. 4,000, six Romeo X ray. Number five Charlie, Charlie contact Orlando on 11, one, one, correction 124.8. 124.8, five Charlie, Charlie. Okay, 4,500. Number three Julie Tango, climate maintain 5,500. Up to 5,500, three Julie Tango. And are you direct pumping it right now? Uh, that is affirmative for a 3 Julia Tango. Okay, climb power, make sure flaps. Fuel pump bench perimeter. Fuel pump is off. Fuel flow. We are sucking it down. Cruise power, mixture lean. Okay, we're not at cruise yet. Right, climbing out of here. Climbing out of Orlando, uh, which has been cleared into the Bravo, so we had to fly underneath it. 1,500, because that's the limit. And if you ever fly in a, a you know a busy class Bravo airspace, that's what you have to be aware of. Um, so he told me to stay outside the Bravo until I'm cleared, and that's. An important thing my flight instructor told me is uh, you're listening for cleared into the Bravo. And then, of course, he cleared me up 4,500 first and then 5,500. So we are good to go. We're on our flight plan. We're going to Pompano. I just notified my crew. That camera's still recording. There you go. See the red lights everywhere, and uh, really great day to fly. See out the front window, just a couple of stratiform clouds out there, but really nice day. Well, let's back this thing down a little bit. We're gonna take us a while to get to 5500 today. That's the advantage of a of an SR-22 over an SR-20. A little bit better climb rate. Give you an indicate. Give you a, give you an idea here. So you can see there we are, and there's our tape. Six Tango Tango contact Miami Center. 4400. 2722. Sir, we requested 55 and got it. 55 gives us a nice little tailwind. There's our route of flight. And then I have a backup. And I haven't have programmed it. But probably wouldn't be a bad idea to do that. Just a great day. Great day to fly. Right, I'm gonna back this off a little bit. 500 feet a minute. Because we're getting just a tad slow. I like to climb it around 100 knots. Remember, speed helps. 100, 105 knots. I don't like to climb any slower than that. I don't expect a lot of... Uh, 
communications today other than a handoff. Okay, let's line up our iPad with this. So what I did is I just touched from my point, you can see up there, 2K PMP and then it just redraws the line direct. What's nice about this is you can kind of predict, you know, where you're going to be. Here we are leveling off at 5,500. Plane's going to move forward as it's doing right now. We're going to pick up some speed. We're doing 135 knots. Yankee, they stayed low level now. They're about your 11 o'clock and a mile. 4,300 indicated southeast bound. And we're going to switch tanks. Pop Yankee, appreciate it. Switch. Make sure we're still flowing fuel. That's good. Pull the distance, catch up, and start uh, moving forward. Okay, so let's take a look at the route of flight here. Do this again. So, there's our route of flight. We're still in the Bravo. You can see here, the Bravo starts way up above us, 6,000 feet. So, no issue there. Should see that, that tower. 761 Poppy Yankee, contact Orlando, 135.3. Have a good one. That tower right there is behind us now. I don't really see it. It's kind of invisible from here. Oh, there it is, right under my wing. Son of a gun, it's right there. So we've got plenty of clearance on that. We're at 5,500 feet. We're tooling along right now, 155 knots. So we're making good time. Remember 383 Julia Tango, contact checks, uh, sorry, Miami Center on 132.25. Have a good one. My name is Center 132.25 for 3 Gillette Tango, thank you. Okay, we're going to go over to Miami. Now it gets busy. 230 Treasury, just 442. Miami Center 3A3 Gillette Tango, 5,500. 3A3 Gillette Tango, my center, I'm Jeremy, tell us if it is 3020. 3020. So that's easy. 3020 on the old fashioned one. Alright, let's go ahead and keep pulling back here. Okay, there's. Oh. Yeah, blue, two, two, seven, Miami, two, two, there's seven, the cough. Miami. We'll just right. go up a little bit. Two, two, seven. She's happy around 10 gallons an hour. So I think I'll put it right there. Okay, so we're on Miami Center. Center middle, 452, uh, traffic site. 1325. 452, turn 20 degrees right, so I guess you're trapped. 452, 20 degrees right. This guy's probably going to bring us all the way in. We just got out of the Bravo in Orlando. 3026 Yankee, maintain VFR, 52, you can resume normal speed. We haven't even left the Mode C Vale for Orlando. And they're already pushing us to Miami. So that was pretty quick. I, I, I kind of expected it, you know, down by Vero somewhere. Center, Cirrus 325, Papa Zulu, checking in 8,000. Oh, the Cirrus? Number uh, 325, Papa Zulu, Miami Center, Rio Beach, Altimeter 3020. 3020, Papa Zulu. All right, let's go ahead and get on the map. Engine looks good. Okay, there's a few planes out today. And our lean is good. Number 3 Kilo Tango, contact Palm Beach approach, 128.3. 28.3, 3 Kilo Tango, good day. 227, contact Orlando approach, Another 3 Julia Tango, that guy confused me. <laughs> so on climb out, we had a 3A3, we had a, we had a 3A Julia Tango, the guy you just heard. And we had an A3 Julia Tango. And a 3A3 Julia Tango. So three planes 
that sounded exactly the same. So especially on uh, departure, and you got to pay attention. You got to pay attention to this stuff. And everybody, you know, after a while, you kind of get used to your tail number, and uh, you know, you, you're always listening for it. So. Every time they said, Julia Tango, my ears just kind of perked up. It wasn't me. It's always a good idea to kind of keep your eye out. Alright, so we're gonna, we are clear, uh, Brickle. You know, especially out here. Possible emergency landing locations. Unfortunately, there's nothing where we are right now but fields. That's it. Oh, I see him. I got him flying over the lake down there. Well below me. I, if I got a good controller. You got Tango traffic, 12 o'clock, and two miles southbound, 4,500 feet indicated. Three GLA Tango has the traffic, no factor. I was going to say, good controller will alert me, and boom, there it was. As soon as it came out of my mouth, he alerted me. I see the traffic. But he's in a, we know he's within 1,000 feet of me, so. But I can see him. He can. He can see me. I think. We're we're plenty plenty high above him. And by the time I get to him, he's going to be over here. So, no issue there, unless he makes some kind of wonky move. And it looks like he's going pretty pretty steady at the same altitude. My sky watch is pinging his. Uh, my sky watch is pinging his uh, transponder. So we're picking up on that. Zeta 414, contact Miami Center, 119.82. Scene 82, Zeta 414, have a good day. And that's another great thing about Skywatch, is I normally wouldn't be looking for him. Good morning, Miami Center. It's but because I'm looking for him on Skywatch, it's real easy to figure out where he is. Because this is real accurate. Now it does show him just in front of me. And he's actually a little bit past me now. So it is, it's slightly delayed. Okay, here he is. Number 3 Gila Tango, fire into flight heading 120, vectors for traffic. Okay, 120 for traffic, 3 Gila Tango. Three two whiskey clear direct Baron. Baron three two. It's just as simple as that, ladies and gentlemen. So he's taking me off my flight plan a little bit, probably for all this Palm Beach traffic. They always do this. Trying to figure out what traffic he's talking about. He might be just trying to get me away from that guy. I think that's what it is. Number two three one traffic two o'clock. Two and a half miles southeast bound, Cirrus at 5500. Good morning, Number three, Julia Tango, traffic one o'clock, two miles northwest bound, Cherokee 6000. Three, three, Julia Tango's looking. Three, two, Whiskey maintains 6000, traffic 12 o'clock. And uh, two miles northbound is a Cessna 172. He's low okay. at 7,000. Three Julia Tango, we have the traffic inside. No fact. Three Julia Tango, you can resume on nav. Oh, nav. Three Julia Tango. Okay, back to our original heading. That was all it was. Three, three one, uh, clear direct Baron, then direct Sanford. Direct Baron, direct Sanford, 231, thank you, sir. I really want to take advantage of these uh, good wins.
Let's just reset. Activate. We're just going to go direct from here. Again, the uh, the shortest point between two points is a straight line. So I just or activated. Pompano again, direct enter, enter, and now I'm going in a perfectly straight line toward Pompano. So, no need for, to let the... We see that traffic now is ahead to your right, uh, less than a mile. No need to let the navigator, you know, try to get back on course, and we're going west, and we don't need to do that. We're just going to go straight on. So, a couple little traffic areas. I think those are students out there because they seem to be flying in circles. Whereas I'm trying to get somewhere today. A little bit of a scratch in my ear. Avionics or what? Not sure it's going to pick up on the recorder. Air five eight Quebec, you clear direct Melbourne, Mike Lima. Direct Melbourne. Then. Okay, oh, coffee three. time. Five eight Quebec. On my little jet fuel, courtesy of the Southeast Ramp Coffee Cup. Got a little button on top. Number two seven zero Charlie Charlie Miami Center. I'll try to start. If I do start drinking coffee again, I'll wait till halfway. Just in case. 5,331. Because as you can see, there's no restroom in here. Restroom would probably be that coffee cup. Contact Miami Center, 132.45. So, for those of you considering getting a GoPro 7 Silver, whatever you do, if you're doing... If you're recording, you know, like this, where you have a YouTube channel, and, uh, you're, you're doing a lot of recording, don't get a silver. The problem with the GoPro 7 Silver is you can't change the battery. The battery is inside the camera, so you can't change it, which sucks, really. Um, so I don't know if I'm just going to try to dump that, sell it off on eBay or something, give it to somebody, but uh, I'm going to get a 7 black at least if I get another 7. Uh, the 9s are out too, they're, they're so expensive. I mean, you know, all you're doing is paying full price for the latest gadgetry like anti-shake, but are we shaking a lot? No. It's really smooth in an airplane. It's not like I'm driving down a, a mountain on a bike, on a mountain bike. So, don't get the silver edition. Get the black edition. And eight miles up direction is a VFR Cirrus 5500. That's me. Number three, Joe Tango, traffic at 11 o'clock and six miles up direction. Actually, he's at your uh, 11 o'clock and six miles northwestbound. Bonanza, he's level at 6,000. 383, Joe Tango's looking. Number 231, contact Orlando Coach 119.4. 234, 231, have a good morning. Not only do I not see this Cherokee, but he's not showing up on my. Treasure, join the Highly 7. I do not see that traffic. Oh, there he is. He's here somewhere. Where the hell is he? Traffic, traffic. Where is he? Oh. 383 Julia Tango, we have a visual on that traffic he's passing. Thanks, sir. 32 Whiskey traffic, as you can say. 32 Whiskey, thank you. <laughs> okay. A lot of traffic. <laughs> a lot of traffic going in my direction in one way or another today. It's really weird. So, 
those other planes just kind of floating back there. They're going to get in his way too. But uh, this guy's going to Sanford, just the opposite place I'm going to. And uh, he was pretty close. I mean, that was pretty good. Uh, I didn't see him until he was right here. I, mean, I was looking hard. and uh, You know, when, you, when it's bright like this, it's not always easy to see other aircraft. But I did see him once he passed. Okay, good view here. Let me get a shot of this. Miami Center, Skyflight 883, 4500. Skyflight 883. Okay, we got it. This is kind of cool. Check this out. What I love about the Avidine. There's our distance. There's our nearest. It's always right there at your fingertips. There's our destination. And then, of course, now I've got my transponder, which is remote right down here. So, just re really makes it friendly for you. Uh, the new... Uh, IFD 540. I'm finally getting used to it. They're going to hand me over here in a minute, too. November 3, Joy Tango, contact Palm Beach Approach 128.3. Over to Palm Beach, 128.33 Jet Tango, thank you. Palm Beach Approach, 3 Jet Tango, 5,500. 3 Jet Tango, Palm Beach Approach, Palm Beach Altimeter, 3022. 0223 three, Jet Tango. Boy, when you do this enough, <laughs> it becomes second nature. You know it's coming. Romeo Dotto. There's the Pratt and Whitney. Pratt and Whitney. Zero Fox Trot here. Asteria. Three thousand. I'm saying three thousand. Zero Fox Trot here. And uh, never more Zero Fox Trot here. Clear direct pass day. Number five twenty four. Here comes my three Julie Tango contact approach one two five point two. Over to one twenty five two three Julie Tango. Palm Beach approach three eight three Julie Tango five thousand five hundred. 33 Juliet Tango, Palm Beach Approach, Palm Beach Altimeter, 3023. 3023, November 383 Juliet Tango, contact Miami Approach, 126.05. Corridor 126.05, thank you. Miami Approach, 383 Juliet Tango, 5,500. Inbound, Pompano, we have hotel. 383 Juliet Tango, Miami Approach, Roger, good morning. I'll just be at your discretion. November's current now, Miami Altimeter, 3022. Okay, we'll grab November 3 Jilla Tango and uh, descend at our discretion. 383 Jilla Tango, we have visual on Pompano. Sir, I heard you. Contact Pompano Tower 125.4. Since you want to go, bye bye. 125.4, 3 Jilla Tango. 08675, heading 360, traffic no factor. 360. Pompano, Pompano Tower 383 Jilla Tango, 9 miles uh, northwest, uh, uh, 3600 inbound, full stop. 3200 turn base, runway 28. Up in our airport information, hotel 135. Base, uh, to the runway 28, close the line, uh, around the 75300. Zero, zero. 383 Geotango, Pompano Tire, enter midfield, right downwind, runway 28. Midfield, right uh, downwind for 283 Geotango. And Cherokee Zero Alpha Foxtrot, contact ground point nine. Have a good day. Over to ground zero Alpha Foxtrot, thank you. Okay, boost. Rich. Uh, let's see. Power. Brakes check. We're good. We have a visual on the field. We're going to enter a right down one for 28. Here's 3 Juliet Tango. Runway 28, clear to land. 28, clear to land. Uh, 3 3 Juliet Tango.
Uh, 212, Frixie, change period if you need to talk to Boca Raton, 118.42. 212, over again. November 3, Juliet Tango, contact ground point 9, good day. Over to ground 3, yeah, 3, Juliet Tango. Popping a beach, ground 3, 3, Juliet Tango, uh, off that uh, ramp Charlie and look going to Atlantic. Number three is three, Julius Tango. I'm not familiar with Atlantic. What spot is that? I'm sorry. I, I'm not sure it's Atlantic, actually. It's the one right in front of uh, 28. Number three, three, three Julius Tango. Sounds like that would be Shelter. Turn left on Lima and turn right at Delta for Shelter. Left on Lima, right uh, for Shelter. Three, Julius Tango.